Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time we're gonna talk about the new DLC and the current state of the game. As you can see the DLC Her Vanishing Silhouette just dropped. Alongside it we got some new achievements which are like 23 achievement points. But most importantly we'll take a look at the state of the game. It did impact the game severely. In a positive way I guess your character is way stronger than it ever was. As reference, before I even opened my character menu, prior to this update my character had an attack stat of 20,000 and a defense stat of 7,000. Now I'm at 30,000 and my defense is at 12,000. Now of course, how do you get those uh, insane stats? You have this absolutely ludicrous trait, plus 5 all stats, insane, then you have martial supremacy for 15% attack, 15% de defense, 25% HP, insane. You can see with the class cannon build I now even have 12 constitution, so I could wear the immovable mountain to get even more defense, but well, we're playing 2560 so the, uh, the armor does not matter. Furthermore, you can also see these individual external stats are really high. Now, so to sum it up a bit, we got 50% more attack set already with this simple update. And then we get into the even stronger aspects, which is you can now fuse two of your manuals into one. So you can fuse two internal manuals into a stronger one, which is this red tier now, or you can fuse two external ones. You cannot mix internal and external ones. Now the reason, of course, why it's so OP, and you can partially see it with the image, I have multiple people poems. If we just look at the upper stats, the external stats, each of those grants 110 fist sword blade long short musical and 450 attack so having three of those grants 330 in all these stats furthermore each of these offensive so external manuals grants 450 attack prior to this update a legendary manual only grants 300 attack and of course you also have to factor in where is it learn from everyone uh, good question good question somewhere they are up there learn from everyone also got updated so a red manual this fusion manual type now grants seven percent attack for an external seven percent defense for an internal so even stronger and now well, what you can do is, for example, if we look at the active internal manual I'm running, it on its own grants 750 attack. This is an obscene amount for an internal, and internal is normally supposed to grant HP and defense. But you get so much attack from it. Then if you look at the main internal effect, the first effect is from a new internal manual, and it grants you 50% more damage with your external manuals. So we ha already have 50% increased base attack, now 50% increased damage, these are multiplicative. Furthermore, this also grants MP leech, so you don't run try in terms of mana or MP. And you can see the bottom effect is 13 sutras, because fusing two manuals simply combines the effects of both of them. Yes. So you can fuse, I don't even know what this is, uh, this is the new internal manual, something deviation form, combined with the blade tyrant skill, a tyrant blade manual. So you can see the first effect is from this deviation form, second tyrant blade. What else do we have? We have a combination of the tyrant blade and the nine provinces, tyrant blade and arc demon, so you can mix a lot of it. And where it gets even stronger are your external manuals. Just look at this. Look at how freaking huge this wall of text is. Now in this case, for this manual, I merged the Spring and Autumn Fan, which is the strongest damning, damage dealing move in the game right now, together with the Luminary Meteor Strike. 
Now, why the Luminary Meteor Strike? It's the second effect one, so the fourth line in the external skill effects. The higher my spirit value, the more damage I deal. I deal 1.5% increased damage per spirit I have. And with the combination of Burning Spirit and Path of Loyalty, you always start a fight with 150 spirit. This means I am guaranteed to have at least 225% increased damage, which is multiplicative, which means due to fusing these moves, the already strongest move in the game deals at least three times more damage. And if you calculate it, in fact, it's 3.25 times. By dealing 3.25 times more damage, then we deal 50% more damage, then we have a base attack, which is 50% higher. We deal a total of 7.3 times the damage prior to the update. Now, should our spirit be capped, then we will get a multiplier of 4.75 instead of 3.25 times 1.5 times 1.5. We deal 10.68 times the damage that we dealt prior to the upgrade uh, update. Absolutely obscene. So, and this is basically what I did with this character. I fused all these manuals. I have my nine different manuals. In fact, I've done some testing as well. You could drop some internal manuals, get some more external manuals. And even though an internal right here provides 750 attack and external only 450, Due to the fact that we have learned from everyone, an external manual still provides more base attack. So you could further increase it to roughly like 32,000 if you go to 7 externals and 2 internals. But I do not feel the need for it. We deal 10 times the damage, or in the worst case 7 times the damage we dealt prior to the update. Nothing changed in terms of enemies prior to the update, we were already destroying all enemies. Now we have 5000 more defense with the setup, you could even drop some more manuals. But I find the setup of 4 external manuals quite nice, because if for some reason a fight would be prolonged, for example if you're doing auto battle with a lot of scattered enemies, having 4 of these moves ensures that the cooldown is fine. As you can see, the cooldown is now four actions instead of the usual three, but not really a downside. Also, one thing I'd like to mention regarding fusions is if we look at this, this was like some um, brush manual combined with People's Palm. The main, or like the image you see, is of People's Palm. And in fact, there are differences depending on which is like the main fusion part. And the main fusion part is essentially what image you get. If you, for example, if I can find some... I combined the Vairokana Solar Sutra together with the Tyrant Plate. And in this case, this martial art is with the Vairokana as the main fusion material. As you can see, a, from the manual effects max level stats, it does not provide any attack. And in the main internal effects, you can see first you get the Virocana effect, then the Tyrant Blade effect. Now, on the other hand, if you get the Tyrant Blade first, then everything looks a bit different. You can see you have 750 attack you get from this manual, and then the other effects. Because essentially, the way the fusion works is it takes the max level stats, so like the manual effects here, you see 37 fist, 300 attack and so on, of the main fusion part, and then multiplies them one by 1.5. So in the case of like the Tyrant Blade, Tyrant Blade normally grants 500 attack, it gets multiplied by 1.5, you end up with 750. Same thing with this. I don't know how the rounding exactly works, normally it should be 74 times 1.5, but you end up with 110 instead of 111. Maybe some weird rounding, who cares. But yeah, our characters got a lot stronger. And it's so simple to even create these fusion parts. 
you can first of all as you can see I have three fusions of people's palm you can keep fusing people's palm to other manuals you don't even lose the manual if you fuse and all it takes okay I can't show it to you is it takes six in the six in-game days and 40 stamina that's it now fun fact uh, since I said six in-game days the fusion altar actually says three in-game days but as you can see 279, 273, 267, 261, 255, it takes six days. The altar is lying for some reason, it's two times the amount, whatever. But yeah, absolutely busted. Really strong. I have no words for this. Just to uh, go through like the multiplier, Normally this would be 512% of your base damage, is what Spring and Autumn Fan would deal. Now you can factor in the additional multiplier from Luminary Meteor Strike. In case you get Maximum Spirit, this would deal 2332% of your uh, additional damage. So 2432% of your base damage. Yeah. Also some additional t testing I did, uh, I don't know if I can show it well. Okay, here you go, um, the yeah, effect 2. When you learn the 9 province internal skill, this attack combo increases by 25%. Now you may think it should work if you have a fusion of the 9 province manual like I do right here. However, it does not. It does not matter which is the main fusion part, I tried it with both settings you actually have to have the corresponding manual that it mentions, in this case, a legendary nine province manual to get the effect. So sadly, you cannot circumvent that. But this whole fusion system also opened up some more interesting, I guess, play styles. For example, the flaming plate, I have did a discussion about it. I ranted a bit about it, how it's not really suitable for the current game got improved a lot. Why the issue with Flaming Plate was you had to run a young type internal manual and that's not that easy to do in the current game state where 13 Sutras is dominating most aspects. But now what you can do is you can combine a for example Tyrant Play technique which is young already with 13 Sutras, get the in this case Tyrant Blade as the main fusion part. This way you get first of all a young internal manual, you get 750 damage, you get the whole 13 Sutras effect and the Tyrant Blade effect which is not that nice but whatever. You care about the damage in the young type. Also can I just mention how obscene this one manual is. 50% damage, MP Leech, guaranteed accuracy, the enemy cannot parry, you are immune to reflect damage when you are attacking and you cannot be crit. One manual, by the way. Now, besides that, maybe we can also take a bit of a look at the lore. We got one new DLC weapon. It's trash. We got two new armors. Now, of course, with 2560s, you can't really use the armor. Uh, yes, it's interesting that it's only for females, it's like intended to buff them, but once more, does not work on free mode. If it, like, what would have been amazing is if it worked on free mode, like, only effective when equipped by females also works on free mode. Would have been insane, would have loved it, you could have actually played with some companions on this game mode, but right now it doesn't work. Then we have Immovable Mountain 2.0. A lot of HP, which immovable mount does not grant, and flat 40% damage reduction and immune to crits. Really strong. Also interesting with this one uh, rope, it's the first item that has a stat requirement of above 10. So in this case 12 dex, 12 luck. Very rare. Besides that, we also have an accessory, but it's not that good. It cuts your damage in half at the start of combat. We do have... 10 times the damage now, but I prefer not to lose half that. 
Then we also have some new manuals. We have Heaven and Earth Thunder Palm. Trash. Then the Shadow Castle Shuttle. Trash. Yes, I like these new manuals. They are insane. Now what's a bit more interesting are the internal manuals. You have Eternal Regret. They screwed up the description somehow. Willie and I talked about it and we believe the percentage should go away or should be removed from the text so it should be converted HP is percentage of your own lost health times 0.3 times damage value because otherwise these values are so low. But it's interesting that they actually created a new manual only or exclusively for females. It would be interesting if there's ever a female main character you could play if this also works, if they somehow balance the game differently, we don't know. Now we have 9 stars chain. Now what's surprising about this is, it once more has attack as its max level stat. Like previously, prior to the desert region, we did not have a single internal manual which granted attack. Then the desert region came out, we got the tyrant play technique, we got the poison toad thingy which is a purple manual, but now they are just throwing them at us. Although this only has 300 attack and of course the tyrant play technique has 500, so superior definitely to this. Now I don't know what to say regarding this main internal effect. You could inflict one of the following different ailments. Mm. Also, you reflect some ailments back. Now, I actually have to test it, or if someone could test it. On free mode, enemies have the effect that they also reflect some ailments back to you. So, what would happen if the enemy inflicted like 20 bleeding on you? You have this manual equipped. Would you then reflect 10 back? Then the opponent's free mode modifier takes effect and reflects 20% of the received back, so two back to you, of which you then receive one and reflect one back. Is there some like funky mechanic going on? I don't know, we'd have to test it. And now, the strongest internal manual by far, we even got, and it's very high up even on the ranking of all ma internal manuals, deviation from form, I'll just call it deviation form. 500 attack, so the same as the Tyrant Play technique. 50% more damage when using your skills and MP leech. Do I even have to say anything to it? And it's Yin type as well. In case you did not know, the different types, so Yin, Yang and Neutral actually have an effect in combat. Yin grants 10% more damage, Yang grants 10% damage reduction and neutral is 5% damage, 5% damage reduction. So it being yin means we deal more damage with a cultivation or an internal, we deal more damage already with an internal manual that grants even more damage, so yeah. And then the flavor text, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. A unique method of cultivation which is incompatible with all other methods. I'm quite certain these are fused. Yeah. So, well, I guess I rambled a bit, but these are my thoughts regarding the update. A lot of power creep. Pure power creep in this one. Also a uh, fun fact, you can now reach 59 constitution, there's even an event in the 9 faction sect to give you one more constitution, so you could reach 60. If we ever manage to reach 67 constitution, you are completely invincible. We'll see if with the next update, as they already teased it, as you can see in the main menu, if you click on DLC, there's a third slot. Stay tuned. We'll see if we get to 67. If you enjoyed the video, like, share, subscribe. We'll see us next time.